guys, this video is back to back to basics, but what we're talking about is eyeshadow. What eyeshadow should I use um, for my eye colour, which is a question I get a lot and it's what I wanted to do a video on. Um, let's start off with blue eyes. The first thing before I go into the colour of the eyes actually is, well, what I want to say is that you don't ever, apart from brown eyes, because brown eyes tend to be able to take different from light to dark colours very well. Um, but if you have blue eyes for example because we're starting off with blue we wouldn't necessarily put on a blue eyeshadow because that will just drown out your eyes you're not really going to see any definition and it's really not going to be of any use or benefit in terms of how you're trying to improve your look um so we start off with blue eyes um the shadow that you want to be using for blue eyes is like a rich warm brown color taupe colors and soft peaches and i'm going to show you now so here's the peach section here on the Froyland second edition. Now blue eyes have are, are beautiful eyes to have and if you want to accentuate that and show off because the reason we have um, eyeshadows and things like that is because we want to accentuate what we have already. So if you have blue eyes, for example, this kind of colour here, these peaches are going to really, really accentuate the blue because they're bright, they're um, pigmented just like your eyes. So you're not putting something that's already existing, for example, like I talked about um, putting blue onto blue, it's gonna drown out, it's not gonna really have any definition. Um, if you have peach onto blue or a warm brown onto blue, that's really, really going to highlight your color of your eye. And that's what you wanna do. In terms of liner, I would then choose warm brown liners and, and taupe liners as well. Now, moving on to green eyes, so in this area here, the kind of, you kind of can play about a little bit with um, green eyes as well in terms of colour. Um, I would go for a red-brown um, liner. Um, in terms of colour, you have the golden browns, which I'll show you. There's a little bit of a golden brown here for green eyes. Um, warm taupes, deep purples, so along here and soft peaches so we're going back to the soft peaches again and soft violets so a violet color as well would be beautiful on green eyes absolutely beautiful um i've got more um on my foil in second edition more purples and violets here to show you so the violets and purples here on green eyes really accentuate your color as well and that's what you're trying to do you're trying to not only have a beautiful eyeshadow look but also accentuate your eye color which is what we're talking about today in terms of liner i would stick with red brown taupe and purple liners for green eyes and for blue eyes just to review warm brown taupe liners um, moving on to brown eyes, now that's where you have a lot more scope because brown eyes can just take the, um, the colours very, very well. Um, so in terms of liner, rich brown, charcoal, taupe, purple liners are beautiful. Um, in terms of the eyeshadows, you kind of have a lot to play with because you are, again, you know, spoiled for choice with that in terms of colour. So this is the first palette here and this is the second palette side by side. Um, and if you have a client or yourself who has brown eyes um, and you want to first of all obviously know what style that you would like and the style of what kind of shape eyes you have which I can do a video on as well um, and then really you can go from golden browns at the side here to blues to greens to, to pinks they all highlight the brown um, in your eye depending how dark your eyes are as well um, then moving on to a colour eye that we don't often see which is grey um, Grey eyes really pop when you put on um, brown or charcoal or purple colour. So grey eyes are, are quite um, an unusual colour eye. I like them a lot because I think that they just make, they're kind of, they just frame the face. They're a beautiful eye colour to have. Um, but then you can go for a deeper brown with grey eyes. So you can use eyeshadow of a deeper brown. So even as dark as the ones down here for grey eyes they would really accentuate your eye colour. And then for liners, you can go for deep brown or charcoal liners. Um, and that is in terms of the the liner. The, the reason I haven't um, said anything about hazel eyes is because usually hazel eyes are a mixture between blue and green or a mixture between brown and green. 
Um, so what you can do is you can choose, so if you've got um, hazel eyes that are a mixture of blue and green, you can look at the blue and green um, shadows that are suitable for that kind of eye and you can kind of do it that way. And if you've got another type of hazel eye, you can look at that um, those colours in that setting and then you know what to use. Um, the other things to realise is that the most important thing to remember about choosing eyeshadow is obviously how you look and um, look really look at the colour of your eyes um, and see um, and go through the, the colours that we spoke about and so you know um, the best way to kind of accentuate your eyes. Now with the brown eyes what I've done today is just um, kind of a, a white and brown look um, because the white accentuates the, bra the, the brown in my eye and then the brown over the crease just gives it that kind of slightly, not very, but slightly smoky eye look. Um, but this was just an informative back to basics on the colours. So just to review, if you have blue eyes, I would go for rich browns along here, warm taupes and soft peaches. I've got some soft peaches here and the ones I showed you along the second line here. If you have green eyes, I would go for golden brown colours, warm taupes, deep purples and soft peaches. So you've got your deep purples here, soft peaches again here and the soft violets are on the second palette here. Brown eyes again, you've got a lot of choice. You can have golden brown, blue, green, charcoal, purple, yellows. Everything really um, goes with brown eyes. Um, and then the grey eyes again, I would stick with cool browns, purples, even pinks and charcoal colours. So the pinks here, the purples that we spoke about on the other palette here. And the cool browns and the deep browns. So cool browns and deep browns are here. Okay. And then you've got some cooler browns here, the deeper browns along here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hi guys, I wanted to do um, a video for you kind of related to back to basics but basically um, a resource for beginners um, who obviously look at YouTube and they look at all these different tutorials for ideas and not only ideas just ways and um, to ap applications to do makeup and something that I absolutely think is vital is to have a resource of your own that you can depend on and then use when you need to um, that has everything to do with makeup everything to do with the um, applications and it goes literally starts from the beginning and goes all the way to detailed makeup and one of the things that I absolutely absolutely think you should have is this book now I bought it on Amazon for I think it was 19.99 and I know it is that was maybe two years ago um, but it's Robert Jones and Robert Jones is a makeup artist um, and he has his own um, makeup academy I can do the links and everything below but he did start off writing books about makeup he was a makeup artist he still is he, you know, he's he's done um, a lot of celebrities' makeup. He's um, very, very um, talented. Um, he actually started off um, studying art, and then he went into makeup and specialised in makeup. And this is one of his books. He has many, but this is one of his books that I think, particularly for a beginner, has absolutely everything in it. And I will go through with you. Um, so this is what it's called. It's called Makeup Makeovers by Robert Jones, and this is what it looks like. Okay, um, and it goes, I'll just go through the um, the reasons why I think, as a beginner, this would be absolutely brilliant for somebody starting out. So, the models, only because I've done his courses, the models in his book from, obviously this was, I think this was published in 2005, are actually still on his Makeup Academy now. Um, so, I mean, he works with people for a very long time and he does different types of eye makeup. And he works on different um, ethnicities, so you get to learn a lot from him. Um, so the first one is just talking about um, true beauty. Chapter two is the words. Chapter three is product knowledge. Chapter four is the tools. And what I realised, obviously, from having his book and then going through the course, was that the course actually and this book are very, very similar. Um, so first of all, 
um, he talks about modern makeup in the first section, um, how less is more, how to define your um, outer V, how to you know do the basic application procedures, and the pictures and the quality are amazing. Um, it's just beautiful. So the words then, making makeup artist an application, makeup makeup um, making makeup an application, an artistry. Uh, begins with knowing some of the basic terms. So he goes through terms and words that are used in makeup and makeup artistry so that you can familiarize yourself with them as well. Um, and then product knowledge is where you talk about um, different types of foundations, different types of bl um, blushes, everything like that. So it, he goes through that with you. Um, and it, he really builds it up as you go along. He builds up the book for you and he builds up your product knowledge. Um, then he goes into concealers, what kind of concealers you have. This is still in product knowledge. So you have, um, you know, your wand, your pencil, your cream, everything like that. And the, the size of the book too, the pictures you get when you're looking at people's faces and doing different um, makeup looks. And then he goes into powders and eyebrows. And he really gives you a really good um, explanation for everything. Um, eyeliners and mascaras then as well. And then... Um, he goes into blushes and um, cream blushes, powder blushes, gels, everything. Um, and he really goes into descriptive language for you so that you know how to do the procedure yourself as well. And it really is kind of like getting to know everything. Then you've got your lipsticks, your sheer lipsticks, your um, glosses, lip liners, frosts and creams. So he goes into that too. Um, and I would really recommend this um, for somebody who's beginning because it really is. It's like your toolkit really in a book. The second one is chapter four is called the tools and basically that's very self-explanatory. Everything that you use in terms of makeup, so eye brushes, blusher brushes, foundation brushes, lip brushes, everything he goes through for you. Um, eyeshadow curlers, eyeshadow wands, curling wands, everything. Um, and he really, again, the pictures are beautiful. He obviously has his own, if you don't know already, he does have his own um, brush range that you can see if you do any of his courses on um the Robert Jones Makeup Academy. Part two is all about makeup and you, and there's a beautiful picture there of somebody there, and then makeup and you. So um, basically what that means is, so he starts off asking and getting you to define your own skin tone. So what skin tone do you have? And what does that mean for the makeup that you're gonna have um, going forward? Um, so then the one that I found, and this is what I'm, I'm glad we got into this stage of the book now, what I found amazing and really helpful was the types, all the different people, and here you have, um, so basically this lady here, her face shape is a pear, she's got close set eyes, um, shadows that she's using today are shimmery to highlight um, her, you know, shimmery flesh tones, her mid-tone is a taupe and the contour is a golden brown, so really he goes into everything for you. And I think that um, a book like this really um, is vital for somebody starting um, out in makeup and who wants, um, as well as having the, obviously, the benefit of having YouTube tutorials out there for you, to have your own resource. And I won't go through the entire book because, obviously, um, that would take a while. But um, it is one of those books that I would highly recommend um, for somebody who is interested in makeup and in general who just wants to know the foundations of makeup and how to apply it. So it's called Makeup Makeovers by Robert Jones um, and it says Expert Secrets for Stunning Transformations and that's what it looks like. And it was just a short video really to tell you um, about that book and thank you for watching.